Welcome to Public Art Studio featuring artist James Searles. Today we are exploring Searles' artwork, Flower Woman, at the University of Houston's main campus. James Searles grew up on a farm in East Texas where he learned to use equipment like axes, chisels, and chainsaws, tools he still uses today to make his sculptures. Searles' artistic focus is the natural world. In Sculpture Magazine, Searles was quoted, there is a through line in my being and in my art, it is the rhyme, rhythm, and pattern of nature, the language older than words. That concept is what we are going to keep in our minds as we create our own Searles-inspired flower vessel. Instead of carving slabs of wood or welding sheets of metal, we will be using natural materials to create impressions and patterns into our clay like Searles Flower Woman. Let's get started. Here are your materials. Air dry clay, I use DAS brand and terracotta color, plastic cup, unopened soda can, plastic knife or craft knife, parchment paper or butcher paper to protect your work surface, tape to attach the paper to your work surface. And remember, most of these air dry clays can be messy, so make sure you are wearing art friendly clothing. These last materials you can find outside right in your backyard. Forage for leaves, sticks, rocks, and flowers that are sturdy enough to leave an impression onto clay. Step one, tape a large piece of parchment or butcher paper to your work surface. Step two, grab three or four palm-sized pieces of clay from the block. Step three, start molding your clay petals. Work the clay in your hands to make an oval shape. Then use your soda can to roll the clay thinner until it resembles a flower petal. You can also use a water bottle or chopstick. The petal shape is one we see in many of James Searle's artworks. Step four, once you have rolled out your petals, start using your natural materials to make impressions into your clay. You may want to test on a smaller piece of clay first. How you create textures and patterns is up to you. Let the materials inspire you and what you make. Step five, when you are done making impressions, drape the petals over the bottom of your plastic cup one by one. Then gently press and smooth the petals together to make a more secure base for your flower vessel. Step six, take a stick or sturdy leaf stem and carve your initials into what will be the bottom of your piece. Step seven, if you want to give your flower vessel more movement, roll up pieces of your parchment paper and place them under the petals to lift them away from the cup. Gravity will hold them in place as they dry. Step eight, wait 24 hours to let the clay dry. Step nine, once your clay is completely dry, take out any paper and gently lift your piece away from your plastic cup. Your Searles inspired flower vessel is now complete. Here's my flower vessel that I turned into a decorative pot for a small succulent. What will yours become? I hope you had fun today in Public Art Studio and we will see you next time.